how to make your very own homemade pasta. For our pasta today, we're only gonna need a couple of ingredients. I'm gonna be using this special pasta flour. It's called double zero flour, but you could also use regular all-purpose flour or an all-purpose flour mix that is gluten-free. Any of those will work just fine. We're also going to be needing some olive oil, some salt, which I have in this really cool container, um, and some water. So I'm gonna get some water right now. Okay, for our pasta, we're gonna start with one cup of the flour, whatever flour it is that you're using. So I'm gonna measure out about a cup of flour. We might need a little bit more for when we roll it out so that it doesn't stick. So I'm going to keep it over here because I might need some more. And then with the fork, we're going to make a little bit of a hole in the center or a well in the center. Almost like the top of a volcano. Let's make a little bit of a well in the center. And then in there we're going to sprinkle a pinch of salt. A pinch of salt. And just kind of give that a little bit of a stir in that well. And then we're going to add a drizzle of olive oil. If you don't want to add olive oil or any oil to your pasta, you don't have to. You can make this with just flour, water, and salt. But I'm going to do a little bit of a drizzle. If you want to measure, it's about a tablespoon. And then I'm going to pour in a quarter cup of water to start, and we'll add more if we need it. take your fork and you're going to start mixing in the middle until you start to get a paste and then you can start making circles of your mixing a little bit bigger to bring in more flour from the outside. Once it starts to get clumpy, add a little bit more water. About another quarter cup. And then keep mixing. You want your dough to be kind of like Play-Doh, so you don't want to add too much water to start. We can always add more if we need it. I actually added a little too much water, so I'm going to add just a little more flour. Once it starts to get hard to mix with your fork, you want to use your hands. Everyone should have really clean hands because we washed them before we started. So I'm just squishing it with my fingers and trying to get all of the flour mixed in. It's a little bit dry, it's okay. It's gonna soak up some of that water as it sits. We're gonna let this rest for a little bit. If it's sticking too much to your fingers like this and it seems really sticky, you can also add some more flour. Just a little bit. Ooh, very sticky. really fun to just make your fingers kind of straight and poke it to get all of that flour mixed in. And it should start to feel like Play-Doh. So I'm just going to get all the bits off of my fingers so I can mix those into the rest of the dough. turn it out onto either our countertop or a cutting board. My countertop is really clean. I cleaned it before we started, so I'm just going to use the countertop. And I'm going to dump the whole thing out and scrape out my bowl to get all of the flour and all the bits that might be stuck. Alright, and then we're going to knead this for a couple of minutes. So what I like to do is fold it in half and push it away, turn it, fold it in half and push it away, turn, 
fold, push. Turn, fold, push. It's also kind of fun to roll it from side to side, switch hands. We just want to knead it for a few minutes to get all the flour incorporated. And what we're doing is building up in regular flour, all-purpose flour or this double zero flour, building up the gluten that's gonna give us a delicious, chewy pasta. But it's also helping to make sure that there's no lumps and that there's no spots that are really dry. If your pasta is still a little bit sticky or it's sticking to your hands or to the counter, then it's okay to sprinkle a little bit of flour so that it doesn't stick to the counter or to your hands. If it seems really dry and crumbly and it doesn't feel like Play-Doh, add a little bit more water, but use a teaspoon so you're only adding a little bit at a time. And it should start to feel smooth like Play-Doh. starts boiling and then what we want to do is salt our pasta water so I'm gonna use our four tablespoons of salt for the four liters of water that I have which is everything left in this container it looks like a lot of salt but most of the salt is gonna stay in the water and we're not gonna eat it with our pasta it is really important though that we salt the water so that the pasta tastes good when it's done being cooked so next I'm going to show you how to roll out your pasta. It's been resting for about 20 minutes. So we're going to take it out of the bowl. We can move this because we don't need it anymore. And we're going to roll out our pasta. I'm using a bench scraper today. This is not sharp like a knife, but it's my favorite tool to use in the kitchen. It's good for cutting things like pasta dough or I sometimes use it for bread dough as well. If you don't have one of these though, you can just use a butter knife because it's really, really soft. So we're gonna cut a little piece and we're gonna roll it out into a snake. We want it to be kind of the thickness of a marker or maybe the thickness of your thumb. So we're gonna roll it out into a snake that's about that thickness. And then using your butter knife or your bench scraper, we're gonna cut it into little nuggets that are about an inch long. So it's just a tiny little nugget. We're gonna do that all the way along our steak. Just little pasta nuggets. And then once we have our little pasta nuggets, we're actually gonna use our fork that we used earlier to roll these into a really cool shape. So we're gonna push on the back of the fork and roll it until we get these little lines on the pasta. So again, we take our fork, we put it face down, we push with our thumb on the tines of the fork, and then we should get a little pasta that has a thumbprint on one side and lines from the fork on the other side. All right, so I'll show you close up what this looks like. 
we're gonna start again. I'm gonna cut a piece. We're gonna roll it out into a snake. When you roll your snake, you want to start from the middle and work your way out. And I like to roll mostly with the palm of my hand. So roll it out into a snake that's about the thickness of your thumb, like this. And then we're gonna cut little nuggets. Then we're gonna take our fork and we're gonna flip it upside down so we can roll down the back of the fork. You wanna take your little pasta nugget, your dough, push it, and roll it. And that way we've got lines on one side and a thumbprint on the other. Let's do that again. Push and roll, lines on one side, a thumbprint on the other, and that's where all the sauce is gonna be, or the butter, whatever you like to use. This shape is called gnocchi. Traditional gnocchi is made with potatoes. This one is called gnocchetti di sardi, and that means little gnocchi from Sardinia, which is an island off of Italy. Just get these guys all rolled out. There they are. Beautiful, ooh, this one came out great really deep lines on this side and a nice deep thumbprint on the other side. And it's okay that they all look different. That's what homemade pasta is all about. They're all gonna be individual and unique, and they're all gonna be delicious. Once they're all rolled out, you can also sprinkle them with some flour so that they don't stick together. And then I like to use my bench scraper just to kind of toss them in the flour like this. You don't have to do this though. You can just leave them all separated out on the counter. But if you want to make a big pile or if you want to store them and cook them later, you can kind of use some flour like that. So one more time, let's get a snake rolled out. This is a little too big of a piece. So we'll roll out our snake. Once your water's boiling, it's time to put in your pasta. I'm gonna use this mesh spider, but if you have a slotted spoon, that works totally fine too. I'm just gonna carefully place all of my little pastas on here, and I'm gonna lower them into my boiling water. Fresh pasta cooks much more quickly than dry pasta from a box, so we're gonna let this go until it floats. Once it starts floating, we're gonna cook it for about one minute, and then we're gonna scoop them out and they'll be ready to eat. that you like on your pasta. Some people like just butter, some people like red pasta sauce or Alfredo sauce. We've been growing a garden at my house, so I'm gonna make my own sauce with some tomatoes and onions and basil that I picked from my garden. But you can put whatever you like on your pasta or you can even eat it plain, it's just that good. And that's it, that's how you make homemade pasta. Thanks for joining.